My advice for someone who wants to hunt is to get out there and take that first step. Buy a tag, go visit a local bow shop, and you'll find that people love to share their passion for hunting. I've been in all kinds of camps that are walking flatland and sitting in blinds, sitting in tree stands, and you know, I'll, I'll do that too, but for me there's just something about the tougher the better, going back to testing myself and you know, proving that I can and breaking past the limitations that you place on yourself. All right, we're good to go. I've been hunting this same area for the past five years. So the more I can learn about the area, the better. And um, the behaviors of the animals, I mean, you never know what an elk's gonna do. It's trying to pattern them, but especially during the rut, they're basically unpatternable. for the night so we'll kind of put a game plan together and maybe we'll try and get down here and catch him on their way back up in the morning that was still really cool he was we were having a bugle fest they're definitely fired up for sure you have to do 99 percent right and they have to do one percent wrong and it's not often that they do that one percent wrong like most of the time they're on it like that's why they're out here they're meant to survive you know they're they have constant threats of humans, of um, predators, and so uh, there's even wolves here. Um, some of the stuff I'm like, how the heck does a giant bull live in this? Like, it's so thick. There's so many jack pines. There's so much down timber. It's an old burn, so there's just so much deadfall. And it's just not easy terrain, even for elk to live in. So for us to be out here, you know, working our asses off to try and get an opportunity, even just that one opportunity, it's difficult. It takes a lot to prepare for, but there's nothing like the cure of nature, honestly. And it's undescribable being in the quiet and 
not just that, like, you know, the solitude, but I think for me, um, it's a way to prove that I can do hard things that I never thought I would be capable of. I just don't know what I would do if hunting wasn't my life. You know, one thing that I'll instill in my children and family is, you know, no matter the obstacle in your way, like you can overcome anything. You can push past anything. A lot of the barriers are ones that you place for yourself. Oh, it's raining today, or I'm too cold, it's too hard, or there's other hunters messing everything up. It's like, all you can do is try. And it's that moment that you let any negative thoughts or any of those voices in your head trying to stop you from doing what you want, which everyone has them. You just have to silence them and push through because that's when amazing things happen. Elk hunting is one of the hardest things I've ever done in my whole life. And that's why I love it so much. You know, it's exciting being in front of elk and I can't think of a day that we've been out here that we haven't gotten into them or seen them or, you know, it's one thing or the other, uh, branches blocking the vitals or out of the three ways that the elk could go, they went the one that we didn't have covered, you know? You know, I'm lucky I've had really great mentors, like Cameron Haynes is a good friend of mine and, you know, his voice is in my head a lot, like, just keep hammering, nobody cares, work harder. When I shot my elk last year, that's the voice that I kept on hearing, like, you know, just keep going, um, keep hammering, like, you got this, Re. It's just the extreme highs because they're bugling all morning. Then you're sitting there at 8.15 and they shut up and you're at a low. Like, there was six bulls bugling going crazy and now they've just shut up. Well, at your lowest, then this happens. <laughs> Stuck it out. 
by us at 40 yards, but it was just too dark. If we had gotten over here sooner, a few minutes sooner, I could have freaking shot him. So I'm feeling really defeated. And that's a wrap on my 2020 elk season. devastated back down there but after I got to the top of the mountain on my way up the quote going through my head is strength is not determined by physical capacity it's determined by indomitable will best quote of the day <clears throat>